Hey everybody, this is Frostpunk Flipping and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time in the last episode. We got done with the Gerudo's Fortress in this episode. Uh, some new stuff. So we need to make our way back to the Gerudo's Fortress. I'm gonna see if this is a faster way, you know, just me casually heading out the temple and all that stuff. I don't know. Anyways. Turned out my game, as usual. We will be, uh, doing some new stuff. Um, we could do a couple of things in the Gerudo Fortress, but I think we're gonna hold them off until later. I don't know. Maybe we'll do them now. I'm gonna grab my, uh, Epona, so. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. Come on now. There we go. There's your Pona. What's up, girl? Let me smack that. Alright. I got up on the horse. So! Heading back to Gerudo's Fortress is, uh, is a thing now, apparently. I don't know. Just making the use of my time. I'm wasting every second of it. I don't have much to say because we're riding back to Gerudo's Fortress. And there really is no warp there. You just kinda gotta go there on your own accord. Which can be quite annoying, but whatever. So I have two things that I would really like to get done in this episode. So let's see if we can uh end off pull it, let's see if we can pull that off, shall we? I would like to uh would like to do that. So now the bridge is fixed, not that it really ever mattered, but it's fixed, so let's go ahead and make our way into the Gerudo's Fortress. Which we are allowed to roam freely in now. But we got Papona. Oh, I'm not, my ear is all itchy. Freaking hair. Anyways. So we have this woman over here that we're going to talk to. The Gerudo's training ground. I'm not going to let her talk. Because we're just going to go in. We're going to head in and be all awesome. Alright, so we have the Gerudo's Training Ground. We're actually going here in search of getting specifically a treasure at the end. This could take me all episode, or it could take me half the episode, and I'll have something else to do. So, heading in here, feed all the enemies in a limited amount of time. So let's fight. the other one. Gotcha. Ho! Got it. Awesome. And that is a key. So basically, it's just a little trial area full of a lot of random puzzles and such. It's just, it feels a little pointless, but whatever. So we're going to try to grab as many keys as possible before we head into a specific room. That is what we're going to be doing mainly. Now for this one, gather the jewels of light while avoiding the traps in danger. We even have a time limit for it. So, let's do it. Right over here we can go ahead and get our first one. Yerp. We got a lot of rolling rocks around here so be careful about that. Oh, screw you. Whoa. Have to be careful about that. That was sucked. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this guy come down. 
might as well get rid of them now, you know. Oh, wait. And grab the white rupee. And we're gonna head up here quickly. Uh, go ahead and hookshot ourselves over here. And our last white rupee should be... Ouch. Somewhere close by. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Grab it! Got it! Oh my gosh! Scary. That was scary. I almost ran out of time. I would have felt stupid. But we got it done, so I'm not going to complain. No keys for that one. Without the necessary items on one, we'll be confounded by impossible mysteries. Basically, we need a lens of truth. So, go ahead and pull that sucker out for yourselves. We're going to take down these guys real quickly. Because our freaking big Goron sword is amazing. Without silver hands, you cannot move the block. Oh, shoot. Well, where do we get those? That's not until later, actually. So, uh, there are some things in here that we cannot do at the moment. But we're gonna get through. Ah, shoot. See? That's what I mean. And I don't believe there's anything behind that door I could, I could check. Um, I believe there is a... Eye, a secret eye in this room. Yeah, right up there. Boom. Wait, what? What door just opened up? Oh. That was to behind that door. Yeah. I get confused a lot in this temple. Oh, well, it's not necessarily a temple, it's a dungeon. We're gonna try to get as much done though, uh, within what we can possibly do. And I hate this part. So, that's all I gotta say. Blind the eyes of the statue. forever. Got it. Got it. Huh. There we go. Alright, sweet. And uh, simply, go ahead and grab this key and fall into the lava. It's alright. It warps you to the top. That's why I do it. So, now that that's all said and done, we can go through this door. What do we have in here? Hey, another small key. All right. What are we doing? I believe this is as far as we're going to go. Because that room over there is to a different area. So, we're done here. Alright, sweet. So go ahead and go and make your way back to the uh, first room. You can use... I would suggest, and this is something that I didn't do, but I would suggest that you do do when going through this area, is using Ferrore's Wind, so you don't have to go and backtrack so much. But I kind of screwed myself over on that one, so... 
I only have for myself. I only have myself to blame. A hot shot. There we go. Gonna make our way back. Ow. That spinner thing is kind of pointless. Pointless slider thing is pointless. So straight up. Right there. Totally forgot that this was there. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Arrows. And another chest for keys, I believe. Or a rupee, because you know this game hates me. Um, I believe that should be it. Okay, we're gonna leave this place real soon because we don't have a lot left that we can do without having the uh, specific item. Okay, now we need a bomb. Boom! Quest complete. No hearts for me, I guess. Whatever. Let's grab the heart. Or, let's grab the key. So should I mention. Yep. Alright, sweet. Next room. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna finish this until later. It'll be a little while. Across the sea of fire. This is actually kind of prep practice for uh, something much major later that we have to do in the game, so. Just saying. Oh, wow. Uh, that is hover boots. My bad. I think. Not sure what that just did, but it did it, so. Actually, no, you don't need the hover boots for this part. I believe that you can use another thing. But if you already did the, uh... The, you know what, the Shadow Temple, you can easily just do this now. Which, I'd rather prefer. Let's go ahead. What just happened? Like, I pressed the switch and now I hear a thing. I'm gonna go hit that switch again. Shizer, wait. Crap. Oh, I see. It was to that fire. Oh, wow, that was close. I didn't even notice. Let me give you a timer on this thing. Got it. That is close. Way too close for my own good. Got it. I have a fairy in a bottle, but I'm not going to waste it at the moment. So we have two doors we can go through. I'm going to go through this one first. find a secret passage in this room. Obviously, Lens of Truth puzzle. We're gonna take our uh, hover boots off because it just wastes time for me. If I... I don't think I want to die, really. go. Now as you can see, the fire is going to still keep on going on and we need that key. So what I'm going to do, and uh, let me go grab this real quick. Bottle of arrows. I 
No. Okay, we need a Megaton Hammer. This is kind of pointless for me to waste my time on at this moment. Like, I could be doing this much later. Where it more so matters. Just attempt to find wherever this secret passage is. You know, just keep on hitting out these blocks until you get some. Like, I'm not finding anything. And there we go. Right there. And that's exactly why they give you the bundle of arrows, too. And... BOM! But this is still... Whatever, you know? I don't think we really have a say in what we do for this part. I swear that there's like a secret switch you need to hit for this. Hmm. I'm not really seeing anything. Uh, can I grab my Megaton Hammer? Just kind of hit the rest of these out. I'm sorry that this is a really boring episode. Like, I'm not really doing a whole lot. I'm just kind of enjoying myself right now because this is a much more relaxing part of the game. Like, I've been kind of just going through a bunch of cool crap for this. There we go. Get in front of it. Open it. There we go. We got a key. Alright, sweet. Yeah, this is much more relaxed compared to the rest of the game that I've been having to deal with right now, so it's just kind of a nice break. And we've already done this. You see what I mean? Alright. Now we actually had another room that we could go into back at uh, the other place. So we're going to head right over there. We're going to go ahead and throw on our hover boots. Uh, there we go. Ah! Damn it. Alright. Now I saw a key up on that pedestal. And actually, I might be able to just get the treasure without having to go to that one room that I need the item for. Collect the what? I don't know what it just said. I would like to know how to get up there. Hmm. Is there like a way? Not that I see. Collect the underwater gems. Alright. Can you guys get what we have, guess what we have to do? Or play our ocarina. So, we're going to play not what I wanted to play, but okay then. That was totally pointless. There we go. That's what I meant to play. It was stupid that I just went and played the sun song. <laughs> but uh, we opened up this area. We gotta use our... I'm not sure why those blocks didn't disappear. Ooh, whatever. Throw on your Zora tunic and your iron boots and let's go. We got some uh, r uh, white rupees to get down here. There we go. Sorry that it took me so long. I was kind of stressing over having to fight that. Now, the thing about this uh, area in specific is that it makes you swirl. Like, it has this current that's really annoying. But it's not that bad. Oh, pull up shield. And we seem to just like just 
right under this freaking thing. Got it. Go ahead and drop down again. Got another one of these clams. Clamfisher. Clamfisher was his name. Uh, how many are we missing? Sweetness. Make it up to the top. Da 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 da. Alright. And, uh, sorry. There we go. Got our key. Small key to be exact. I feel like that there is a way up there. Just not sure how. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna be able to make it all the way though, with uh, only this many. So, like, any secrets? Whoops. I smell chili. I want chili. Nope. Hmm. Uh, I'm thinking that possibly back in the other room. So let's go check. You'll know what I'm talking about in just a second. Let's get first let's let's get over there. Probably the one thing we need to do. I know that for one part specifically we need to have the gauntlets and move all that crap, but we don't have that at the moment. Is there nothing else in here besides that? I guess so. We need the we need the silver thingies. They're gauntlets or whatever. But we don't get those until later. So we're kinda screwed out of getting those. Uh, let's see if we, how far we can get uh, with these keys, and hopefully we'll get lucky and just not have to go and get the rest. I screwed that up. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Click. We're heading back into the uh, the first room right here and what we're gonna do uh, sorry I just had an occurring thought I'm wondering why Navi's all like come over here so basically yeah that's that's pretty much ex explanatory all on itself change back to my regular stuff what you need to do is have the right amount of keys to be able to get to this treasure chest that's what we're aiming for so I'm gonna hope I'm gonna pray that we're gonna make it all the way there but I don't think I have enough keys to do so Red ruby, or purple whatever I'm colorblind sorry Ooh. I don't think we're gonna have enough. I know this is the right direction though. That's why I'm kinda freaking out. It's red rupee. Alright. Oof, we are just so close. Wait, did we get it? Oh! One key away! We were just one key away from getting that treasure. Alright. Uh, do we got anything in here? Just arrows. Sadness. Oh, man. One key away. That's, that's really depressing. Um, well, I hope this helped you guys as far as it goes. Um, we'll worry about getting that last key and getting the sacred treasure in the next episode. Uh, yeah, because we can get all that done real quick. 
But I thank you all for watching. We'll get that soon. We just need that one last key. And I know how to get it. And I swear that you can get another key in this room. Straight up. Can you play your like ocarina here? Let's see. Navi, why you be all like derp? I would like to know what is up with that. Because maybe you hold the secrets to me getting the last key. And being able to get this stinking treasure. I would heavily enjoy that. Hmm. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll worry about it in the next episode. Where we'll head back in. And yes, it's another 10 rupee admission fee. But uh, in the next episode, we'll actually be heading out. That was just a little bit of stuff for the training ground. And we'll worry about getting that last key later. Uh, which should be hopefully in the next episode. I don't know. It depends on how far this goes. But thank you all for watching. I was supposed to know. Now I'm somebody else. Like, I'm to subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. And uh, sorry for a little bit of a boring episode, just kind of wanted to relax. <laughs> See you all then.